Hello, everyone. We want to present the FIDAT framework that allows creating complex mathematical models in an automated way. The main aim of this tool is to find the optimal structure of the model using the available observations. A well-known group of approaches in this field is called AutoML. For the FIDAT, the observations data can be represented in different forms, tables, arrays, time series, etc. The used set of basic atomic models depends on the task that should be solved. For example, composite time series forecasting models are built using different regression models. The FIDAT framework uses evolutionary optimization to identify several candidate models that can be fitted and used for prediction. As a case study, the Met Ocean forecasting problem is used. The dataset includes hourly observations of sea surface height in the Arctic. Also, we configure the hydrodynamic model to obtain the additional features for the forecasting. Then, we split the data into the train and test samples in chronological order. In the FIDAT notation, the composite model consists of several atomic models organized as a directed acyclic graph with several inputs and one output. The different models can be just equal members of the ensemble, or in more complicated cases, each model can represent different scales of the process, for example, trend, uh, seasonality, and residual component. The evolutionary optimization of the composite model building starts from generation of the initial population. For the current case, the building blocks are a set of regression models, linear regression, lasso regression, random forest regression, etc. Even neural networks, numerical models, and existing composite models can be added to the population in this step. Then, the population of individuals is generated by the random combinations of these blocks. For each individual, the fitness function values are calculated. It is based on the modeling error against observations. Each individual can be represented as a graph-based model structure. To optimize the model structure in an evolutionary way, it is transformed to the chromosome representation. It consists of functional blocks, the connections between them, and the hyperparameters of each block. This transformation is applied to each individual. Then, the evolutionary operators, crossover, and mutations are applied to the population. Parts of the models are changed in order to find better solutions. Crossover allows us to take promising parts from different composite models and unite them into one. It can be single atomic models or even a subgraph. Mutation can change one model into another or even remove a model or subgraph completely. Optimization in FIDOT can also be multi-objective. It means that both quality and complexity criteria can be involved in the phenotype. The complexity criteria can be represented by the size of the graph or the computational time of the models. In this case, the quality complexity Pareto frontier can be built as a result of optimization. To improve it, additional regularization is applied to the model structure. As you can see, the redundant atomic blocks are removed and both quality and complexity values are improving. Then the selection starts for the current generation. There is a set of best solutions that are Pareto optimal. Also, a set of promising candidates exists that allows preserving diversity during the evolution. Finally, other individuals in the population are also useful because they provide the genetic material to the crossover. If better solutions are found in the next generation, the candidate's pool is updated. Finally, the best model found is used to generate the prediction for the validation sample. It allows us to compare it with real data and estimate the quality of the obtained model. The time series forecasting is not the only case that can be solved with FIDOT. It is applicable to various classification and regression problems. The composite model for the credit scoring problem is presented as an example of classification. The found optimal setup consists of five atomic blocks. Another feature of FIDOT is the optimization of a composite model of a different nature. For example, the Bayesian model consists of several connected Bayesian subnetworks that can be used for generation of synthetic social media data. To identify the optimal structure of this model, the evolutionary approach implemented in FIDOT can be used. There are a lot of other interesting cases that can be solved with FIDOT. It is an open source framework developed in Python, so all of the source code examples and documentation are available on GitHub under a free license. We are open to any contribution and collaboration. The additional details are available in the description of this video. Thank you for your time.